We welcome you to the Little League Softball Regionals on ESPN, presented by Dick's Sporting Goods. Today, the first of 12 games that will be played here in Warner Robins, Georgia this week, as Harris County Little League of Georgia faces Rowan Little League of North Carolina. These are two of the seven teams that have descended upon Warner Robins, teams from West Virginia, Virginia. Daughter of one of the coaches, Jeremy Bolin. Three pitches, three swings, and one strikeout for Bristol Smith. Hitters count for Carr. And she takes the walk. The 13 year old eighth grader flies this one down the right field line, and that one is off the glove of Fister. Heading to second base, Carr now rounding second, heading to third, and she's in there. Carr got a late jump from first into some heads-up base running as Valdez heads to second base. Ellis swings and misses, two down. Coach Carr looking for some... Clutch, two out, two strike hitting. Instead, it's Bristol Smith. Strikes out the side, allows two on, but no damage. North Carolina coming up. In there for a strike. Called strike. Instead, it's outside. Lenaya Ratcliffe at the plate. Back up the middle, flip to second for one. No! Not in time, it's second base. Look like. And that is a reviewable play, but no challenge here from the coach. Slow ground ball to third. Ellis up with it and gets the first out. And three and one, a big hitter's count to the big hitter, Bristol Smith. That one is low and a walk. So a couple of walks, the fielder's choice. The 2-0 to Small. Small to right, that gets through the outstretched arm of Price. One run scores, another runner coming home. She will score, it's 2-0. Shell and Ratcliffe are plated and it is 2-0 Rowan County. J.C. Small, and you can see Price just a little flat-footed, got a late jump on that. Baxter to right. That one is foul. They're waving him home. Did it hit her glove in fair territory? That's the question. Smith will score. He had to third, and they're ruling that a base hit. The right fielder, McPherson, went over to make the catch. If she touches this in fair territory, it is fair. And that's exactly what that looked like there. It lands in foul, but hit her glove. So Smith scores. Small head to third, and now Small is going to head home. Evie Baxter now at third base. On just one base hit in this inning. Mulkey to third. That one is off the glove and heading home. In there. Baxter slides under the tag. There was no tag because the throw was a little wide. Harden couldn't handle it. So small scored on the pass ball. Baxter drove in a run on the error to right. Mulkey will advance to third on this ground out from Linebarger. Chloe Ratliff trying to drive in that sixth run of the inning. And it hit her. 
Ratliff a little frustrated. Mary Kate, the 2 1. Mary Kate to left field, and that's over the left fielder's head, Gilbert. Coming in the score is Moki and Ratliff, and it is 7 0. North Carolina thinking of throwing, thinking of coming home as a cool as she'll stop at third. Seven runs have come home in the first. And how about the shot from the 10 hole hitter, Akula? Gilbert misjudged on the angle, tried to cut straight across, went over the glove. And Moki yelling, back, back, back. You're just going to stay right there. Now, Fister to short. And Valdez puts that one away but not before seven runs come home for North Carolina on just three hits. And does she likes Angel Reese and wants to meet Caitlin Clark. She's got all the bases covered there, the WNBA. Swing and a miss, fourth strikeout for Smith. She's a track star as well, four by 400 meter relay, 400 meter dash. Now she's dashing to first base, gonna try and beat this one out and Cannot on the nice play from the first baseman, Chloe Ratliff. Payne Brummett, one pitch, third out. Three up, three down here in the second. North Carolina going to try to add to their big lead. Ball as well. Deal to second base, off the glove, mishandled. And we will rule that as an error on the second baseman, Liza Price, and a tough one there. Stewart skies this one to left, and Gilbert makes the catch for the first out of the inning. Radcliffe back up the box and through with a two out base hit. Deal scampers to second base and O2 from Carr. Melker to right. That's going to find the turf. Rounding third and trying to score is Deal and she's in there. Aggressive base running. The throw was cut off. The throw was up the line. And a big hit from Melker. McPherson threw it to second base. And Deal scores from second base. It's now 8-0. Open 8-0 North Carolina. Smith, that one is through. Ratcliffe scores, stopping at third is Melker. Bristol Smith with an RBI single, 9-0. Get the courtesy runner for the pitcher or the catcher with two outs and must be the player who made the last out. Now that was Tenley Shell who flew out to center field. And Tenley Shell will now the 1-1 to J.C. Small. Small. That one is fair and that one is bobbled by the third baseman Ellis. The 10th run comes home. The plate. And that one is back up the box and through. Shell scores easily. 11 nothing. Mulkey to short. Valdez ends the inning. But not before four more come up. Good head on her shoulders, never misses a practice. The 0-2. That one to the right side and fielded cleanly by Ratliff. Amac are going to try and get things started here. And she does with a hit by pitch. Third batter to 
reach base for Harris County Little League. One, two. That went back up the middle. Second baseman Mulkey, the flip to short. The turn. Not in time. Nice. Foul tip and grabbed by Shell. Ava Valdez in the circle. Diane Barker hammers this one up. This center field for a two strike leadoff base hit. In there for a strike from Valdez. First strike out of the day for Georgia's pitchers. To a base, it has to be feet first. 1 0 to Akula. And a hitter. First inning, grounding out after seven runs had been plated. And that one is off the catcher, Harden, and each batter will, each runner will advance 60 feet. One and two to one seven. That one's slow roller to short. And Carr throws out the runner, advancing to third. That's some good base running. As the run does score. So Linebarger scores, Okula to third, and an RBI ground down for Fister. Now Harper Deal, who started the second inning with a reaching on an air and scored the first run of the second inning. And now she will reach with a hit by pitch. It's not sure you even need a sign there. 1 0 to Stewart. And now she's off. A two on in scoring position. In chip game. Trying to keep it going here. Swings through it to second base. And up with it is the shortstop car. But one run does come home. It's 12 0. North Carolina, where Rowan County resides. And about 85 miles west is where Harris County Little League is located. And that one lined out to EB. Again, the run rule in play, 10 runs after four. That one over Mulkey's head for the base hit. Second hit of the day for Georgia. Ava Valdez, who replaced Carly Carr at the in the circle. Swings and misses out number one here in the fourth. Six strikeout of the day for Bristol Smith. A Carver Middle School. Ellis, slow dribbler, Ratliff. Got to get there quickly to first, and she does, and two away. No, that's three, excuse me. The ground out, the strikeout, and then the ground out ends the game. And North Carolina wins it 12-0. You know, the home plate umpire made a mistake on the count. I made a mistake on the outs, but North Carolina was pretty mistake-free today. There you see Bristol Smith's dad, Michael. The family watching her daughter and their, her team getting it done today as North Carolina makes easy work of Georgia 12 to nothing.